back with Jan Broberg, who is making news again with a new podcast, Obsessed with Abducted in Plain Sight. The documentary that aired on Netflix was based on her family's experience. I ask you in the commercial break, were you mortified when you saw the final product of the docuseries that aired? I, it was hard for me because my parents were so honest and so brave to tell all and I wanted to protect them because I know who they are and I worried that, that people might react this way. Not being able to understand or put themselves in their place. Right. I think all of us have done something in our life that we're not going to advertise to the world. Yes, absolutely. Al almost everybody. With I don't your know dad, your father. Has not. Absolutely. Your father passed away November 2018. In his interview in the docuseries, he admits to a sexual encounter with Birchall, the man who abused you and kidnapped you twice. He did not want that to... No, what my was dad, the concern there? I'm the one that, that had a, a nervous breakdown. You did not want that. It. Yeah, I mean, this was before the first kidnapping happened, the thing with my mother. The, so much of it was leading up to the kidnapping, but the first kidnapping, my father never let him back in the house after I was brought back. Of course, everybody at church and in our neighborhood was like, but he's married and he has five kids and he's the nicest man and he didn't hurt her, so you're not gonna press charges, are you? And that's the kind of reaction right. that people had because he had brainwashed the entire yeah. community. So his seduction of both of your, he seduced your mom, he seduced your dad, all to get to you. Yes. He would have something yeah. to, to hold against them. Your mother, does not regret doing the documentary. Not at all. You know, as as hard as it was for me to, I finally had to stop, you know, uh, looking at and listening to all of the other voices and just concentrate on the 30,000, 40,000, all the messages that were coming to me. So you Thank were you. seeing all the social media posts saying, this is the craziest thing. Your parents mm -hmm. allowed this man to do this to right, you. Right, and they did not allow it. <laughs> they didn't see it, which is why abuse like this yeah. continues by people you know, love, and trust. If I were to ask your audience how many of them have been abused by someone they know, they loved, or they trusted, yeah. half of these people would say, me. Right, right, right. They would, right? Right. Yes. And so how is your mother now? My mother now is one of the most um, amazing women. She went back to school. She became a social worker. She's done adoptions. She's done foster care. She's helped hundreds of children find their home. Um, she, she's just an amazing woman. And I have to say that if I can be like her, that would be my whole goal. So to catch the audience up here, the man, uh, Bob Birchall, ended up only serving like six months in jail uh, for what he did to you in a mental health hospital. He took his own life in 2005. A part of you taking back your life is advocacy work on behalf of people who are abused. And you think more needs to be discussed as it relates to brainwashing that happens mm -hmm. when the abuser gets hold of families and children. Yes. And I think it's a hard subject because nobody wants to believe that they can be manipulated or brainwashed. But if you have someone in your family, your congregation, your community, your neighborhood, your school, that you have loved and trusted, and then you have found out years later that this person was abusing either you or a child, you were manipulated. Wow. You were brainwashed. You were, you, you were not able to tell. Hmm. You know, so many uh, abuse cases, the, the person is either young and they don't tell. Right, and we don't talk about that And part we don't talk about it, which is why my mother was so adamant that we do it, because right. people are having conversations. Well, you have this new podcast out, Continuing the Conversation. Jan, thank you. Her podcast is obsessed with abducted in plain sight.